told the guy we can leave. Whoa. He said we can leave. Listen, it's ridiculous. You guys know you're not. Okay. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. I've got a really weird episode today. I'm not really sure what else to call it. It has to do with, uh, well, I'm not really sure whether to call him a fan or like a troll, or how about we just call him a fan for now, in quotation marks. A fan's comment about wide body in his 2020 Supra. Suffice it to say, things got a little bit weird, things got a little bit heated, and uh, well, Stradman issued a response that sort of put the original poster in its place. And obviously, Obviously, we've got a bunch of other great supercar news. B is for build, TJ Hunt, Shmi, lots of other great stuff. So get ready, guys. Here we go. Remember, guys, we're getting closer and closer. A thousand dollars going to one of my subs. So make sure to subscribe right now and uh, maybe win a thousand bucks. All right. So let's talk about Stradman here for just a little bit. Uh, this was a this is a pretty crazy time for him. He just picked up his uh, on a whim 2020 Supra, flew out to New York, is driving it back across the country. Actually, stopped in Colorado Springs yesterday for a little bit of a uh, little crazy Toyota Supra. Super McLaren Senna action. We'll have a vlog on that very soon. I'm just in the editing process right now. So be patient. And just got back to Utah very, very late last night. So obviously on this trip, he's going through lots of different modifications. He removed the exhaust for a little while, straight piped it for a short time, has some other crazy stuff coming down the pipe here real soon, and has been teasing some of the things he wants to do to the Supra. Now, one such thing he was putting out there sort of into the ether a little bit was a picture of a wide-bodied Supra. I guess just throwing it up on his Instagram showing people what a potential wide body super could look like for his own channel. So the picture itself actually belonged to a different Supra, someone that was basically doing a SEMA build uh, with a Pandem. I hope I said that right. I'm not really into the super world yet, so you'll have to excuse me. The Pandem wide body kit for the new 2020 Supra. And obviously, lots of comments about how awesome it was, how they should absolutely do it. And Stradman has talked about the fact that, you know, he wants to do something that's a little more showy, a little more like show car ready, not necessarily crazy on the horsepower, but just something that looks phenomenal that he can take to shows. And that's when things start to go a little bit awry. So another Instagram commenter gets on and decides to share his knowledge with the world, letting people bask in the glory of his excellence, and basically says, super gay if you ask me. Obviously a phenomenal grammar choice, a bra bravo to you doing that right there. And obviously Stradman just could not resist the urge to uh, well, respond to it in a very classy Stradman way, not calling any names, but sort of laying down the hammer in the sort of nicest way possible that I can think of, and basically just said, no one asked you. To the cheers of the chorus of Stradman fans underneath that particular comment, you guys are gonna wanna check these out. There's like 80 plus comments there. It's some ridiculous number. You're gonna wanna see it. Just about everybody jumped on the Stradman bandwagon and sort of defending the Supra, and we've talked about this a lot on the channel before, guys. If you want to voice displeasure, if you wanna like have a critique about something, let's be smart here. Let's be a Adults. Let's not call things gay. This isn't like 1999 anymore. <laughs> Like, let's get, let's enter the, uh, the, the almost the 2020s at this point and be more adult. Like, you can say, like, hey, I'm not really a big fan of the super body design. I'm really not a fan of the wide body either. Obviously, that's not going to elicit a negative response from anybody. They'll just be like, oh, I understand your point of view. Blah, blah, blah. We'll go from there. That'll do. This particular commenter obviously didn't understand that and decided to use sort of infantile language in describing the Supra. What's the matter with you? Anyway, this doesn't have a lot of relevance. I just had to show it to you guys. I thought Stradman's response was pretty fantastic. Uh, very clean, very nice, but also like laying down the hammer like we talked about a second ago. And really just sort of put him in his place. And the guy tried to defend himself a little bit and basically got ganged up on by a number of different commenters. <laughs> You're gonna to wanna to check it out. There's some relatively large Instagram accounts that might have jumped into this particular conversation on Instagram. So go check out Stratman's Instagram account. You're not gonna to wanna to miss the full sort of uh, comment spectrum. And last thing, guys, what do you think about the wide body Supra that Stratman posted? I'd like to get your thoughts. Obviously, keep it a little bit clean in the comments, guys. I don't wanna to have to do a second video about it. All right, into our next story. Shmi is next up on our list, guys, uh, doing an incredible tour of one of the most amazing hypercar garages 
I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's truly amazing, the spectacle and the collection of hypercars that exist in this one particular garage. I really can't imagine how Shmi got this introduction, but uh, what an incredible collection. You're gonna wanna see it. It's basically every dream hypercar you could possibly think of. Truly amazing. Skimming through the rest of the news, we have drag times with the first Huracan Evo quarter mile. You might be surprised about the time that it got. Definitely go check it out, guys. Finally, Drag Times is doing a little more uploading. It seems like he took a break for a little while. Hadn't seen a lot of stuff and coming back strong with the Huracan Evo quarter mile. Go check it out. That car is gonna, I think it's gonna blow a lot of people away. And I missed it a couple days ago, but Be For Build bought a Huracan Super Trofeo body to sort of help with the construction of his custom supercar, the LS Swapped Huracan he's doing. You're definitely gonna wanna check this out, guys. A very interesting episode from a very unique build that really nobody else is doing on automotive YouTube. YouTube right now. Next we have TJ Hunt who has new wheels for his 2020 Supra. It seems like him and Stradman are in a bit of a race to get new things done for the car. So obviously getting new wheels becomes paramount when you're the first 2020 Supra to get wheels. So definitely go check it out if you're at all interested in sort of the Supra content race that's occurring right now. And because we have to end with a little bit of classic interesting car news, Street Speed 717 pulled over in his Duramax car. Uh, some interesting charges there, got the entire thing on video. So if you're at all interested in Street Speed 717 or just people getting pulled over in general. It's gonna be a fun video for you. Check it out. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, yes, we are in the middle of editing the vlog. It's a little bit on the shorter side. I wanted to sort of ease my way back into it. It does have me messing up a bunch, so feel free to watch the vlog. I'll probably tack it on to the end of one of my news days. I haven't quite decided yet. Depends on how long it is. Anyway, uh, have a great day, guys. Have a great Friday. It's Friday today. Have a great Friday. We'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. Bye.